What's going on everybody, it's Game Unboxing Reviews here and welcome back to another LEGO Dimensions news update. Now in this video I'm of course going to be talking about all the brand new Midway arcade content that has been revealed for LEGO Dimensions. But before that I'm also going to be talking about what the release dates are for each fun, team and level pack from September all the way to May 2016. So without further ado, let's get to it. Alright, so first off of course here we see this giant chart which tells us everything that's coming out for LEGO Dimensions and more importantly when you're going to be able to get your hands on it. So on the very far left we can of course see the starter pack at first and here we can see you get Batman, Gandalf, Wildstyle and the Batmobile. Nothing really else to say about that because we know about it. So let's just move on to this. So with Wave 1 this all comes out, all of these that I'm going to talk about right now all come out September the 27th 2015. Now what's interesting about this is it's September the 29th, 2015 for uh, Europe. So I guess this is more, this chart caters more towards the US players. So think a little few days in advance for some of the release dates. So for example, for September the 27th, it's going to be September the 29th for me. So anyway, let's talk about it. So first up, we have the level packs. The level packs are colored yellow. The team packs are colored orange and the fun packs are colored green so the first level pack we have here is Marty McFly which comes with his DeLorean time machine and hoverboard Shell from Portal 2 she comes with her companion cube and sentry turret Homer Simpson he comes with his Homer's car and Tonto Vision and then we move on to team packs and we get Owen in the ACU which comes with the Velociraptor and Gyrosphere Scooby-Doo which comes with Scooby and Shaggy the mystery machine and the Scooby snack and then we move on to the fun packs now all of these are fun packs and you get Wonder Woman and her invisible jet, Cyborg and the Cyber Guard, Emmett and his excavator, we get Bad Cop and the police car, Benny and his spaceship, Jay and his storm fighter, Naya and her samurai mech, which looks amazing, really excited about that one, Zane and his ninja copter, Gollum, Shelob the Great, Legolas and his arrow launcher, Gimli and his axe chariot, Laval and his mighty lion rider, that thing sounds awesome, Cragger and his swamp skimmer, Eris and her eagle interceptor, and finally the wicked witch in in the winged monkey so lots of really cool stuff there you know we know all about that so I'm basically just talking about uh, the release dates rather than going into detail in the characters next up we have wave 2 November 3rd 2015 which I believe is November 6th for the Europe yes November 6th is when all this content comes out for people in Europe like myself so first up we have my most anticipated pack for LEGO Dimensions and it is of course the Doctor Who one which comes with the Doctor, the TARDIS, K9 and so much more in game. It's going to be amazing. Then we have, that is of course a level pack, then of course we have a team pack. Now only one team pack and one level pack come out in Wave 2 and it is Ninjago and here we get Cole and Kai, we get the Blade Bike and the Boulder Bomber. Then we move on to the fun pack which is the Simpsons, it comes with Bart and the Gravity Sprinter. Then we we have another one from The Simpsons, which is Krusty and his clown bike. And then we have the Lego movie, which is Unikitty and her cloud cuckoo car. So lots of really cool stuff there. Then we have Wave 3, which is January 19th. So I guess that would be uh, 19... 22 I think maybe January 22nd 23rd something like that it's hard to say because some of them usually are like three days in advance but it might be a little further that's just my guess but for the first two wave one and wave two they're pretty much confirmed from what websites I've been looking on so with this we get the first level pack of wave three is Ghostbusters and that comes with Peter Venkman the Ecto-1 and the Ghost Trap then we get the team pack which comes with Joker and Harley with the Joker's Chopper and the Quinn Mobile then we have the fun packs which is the Cyberman and Dalek, which again, I'm really excited about that. Love Cybermen, love Daleks. Then we get the Back to the Future one, which is Doc Brown, the Traveling Time Train. And then we get Ninjago, which is Sensei Wu and the Flying White Dragon. Sensei Wu is awesome, so I'm excited about that one. And then we move on to Wave 4, which is March 15th, 2016. So this one is very cool because it is, of course, the debut of the Midway Arcade content, which I'm going to be talking more about, uh, you know, through the video. But here we can see the Midway Arcade comes with the Arcade Machine, the G6155 Spy Hunter. And then, of course, we move on to the Fun Packs, which is the Aquaman and Aqua Watercraft. Really excited about Aquaman. Very happy to hear that he can go underwater into Atlantis and everything. And hopefully there'll be quests and races and all that good stuff. 
Then we have DC Comics again. It is, of course, Superman in his hover pod. Then we, which is weird. I actually think Superman, it's a bit odd that he has a vehicle, but hey, you know, I guess it makes sense. You know, each character needs a vehicle, so I can understand that they've added one. And then we have Ghostbusters, which comes with Stay Puffed and Terror Dog. Now, they didn't actually rule out the possibility of Stay Puffed actually having the ability to enlarge himself so he can go giant. So if that character has that ability, that would be really cool. And finally, for the waves we currently know of, we have Wave 5, which is May 10th, 2016. And we get another Ghostbusters fun pack, which is Slimer and Slime Shooter. We get Ninjago, which is Lloyd as the Golden Ninja with Lloyd's Golden Dragon. And then finally, we get DC Comics Bane with his Drill Driver. And of course, Bane can turn into a big, big figure of Bane as well, which is awesome. So yeah, guys, this is Wave 1, Wave 2, Wave 3, Wave 4, and Wave 5. What will there be for Wave 6, you know? Are we going to get a Wave 6? Most likely. I mean, this game's going to be supported for years to come. So I think this chart is explaining what we're getting for now. But hopefully, you know, they'll expand upon that once we get even more waves. But nonetheless, this is an awesome set of waves. And I'm just so excited about everything on this page. Alright, so next up, of course, we're going to be talking even more about the Midway Arcade content in LEGO Dimensions. And this is looking really cool, because I was very interested to see what Midway was actually going to be in LEGO Dimensions. You know, I was really confused at why it was there, but nonetheless, it looks great. I mean, first off, of course, here we can see the hero that we get, and it is, of course, Gamer Kid. That is his name, Gamer Kid. He seems to be an original character created for LEGO Dimensions, so it's pretty cool to see that. You know, it's kind of like a LEGO Dimensions' own character. I like that. It's, it's a nice addition. Then, of course, we have the arcade machine, which is its gadget, and then we have its vehicle, which is probably one of the coolest vehicles I've seen for LEGO Dimensions so far. I mean, I really like the look of this thing. It is, of course, the G6 155 Spy Hunter. I, I just think that thing's awesome. And also, this is a level pack, so you get even more content. And it is, of course, over 20 classic arcade games. Now, apparently, what this is, it's a mission where you play through a bunch of classic arcade games over the years made by Midway Arcade. And you can see from the box out, we've got a few little teasers as to what some of them might be. We've got Rampage, Gauntlet, Sprint, uh, Spy Hunter. There's just a ton of classic arcade games. So if you're a fan of classic arcade games, or, you know, if you actually grew up with these games, then you'll probably find a lot of nostalgia in the Midway Arcade content alone. Alright, so I'm going to do my best to explain what the Midway content offers in LEGO Dimensions because it's going to be pretty difficult because basically, obviously, I've heard of Midway as a gaming company. I've heard of them several times, but their arcade games, I've just, I'm not that familiar with, so it's going to be pretty tricky to explain, but I'll do my best. So here we can see Batman, Gandalf, and Wildstyle in what looks to be, I'm just going to call it Mars for now. It's like a Mars-looking planet. We can see some pixelated alien in the background in the sky, which looks really cool. Nice. I always like to see, um, you know, pixelated references from retro games coming into next gen games. I always think that's pretty cool to cross, you know, pixelated with these high definition graphics. There's always a bit of fun there. We can also see in the background there's a spaceman. He seems to be uh, banging on the glass, so I guess he wants you to let him out or something. Maybe there's going to be some cool crossovers between the spaceman here and Benny from the Lego movie. I mean, th that, that seems like a great idea for a crossover. Now, where they are, I believe, is actually the story mission, because like I said, they haven't really been showing any any level pack content so my guess is this is where Batman Gandalf and Wildstyle come into play with the Midway arcade content so they're actually going to meet maybe gamer kid in the main story and then it'll lead to whatever happens next but this still looks cool and you of course can see a ramp as well so I guess you're going to be able to use a vehicle here and also the camera angle it's 2D, so is this mission going to be entirely 2D? That is definitely cool. I, I will be very impressed if it is actually 2D for this whole mission, because I always like it when we get to see things like that. You know, when we get to see, like, the Scooby-Doo content is cell shaded and things, so if this mission is, like, 2D, that's, that's going to be really fun. Next up, we can see Batman on the strange-looking Mars-like planet yet again. We can also see some pixelated things in the sky again, and it's just, it's really strange. It really is. It's such strange things to describe. But on the very far right, we can see a little hatch. Now, basically, I want to explain what that is. So what you do with the toy pad is there'll be certain moments where you'll actually have to move the character along the toy pad, and it'll actually enlarge them or shrink them. So in this case, we've got Batman here, and we can shrink him, and he'll actually go into the hatch, and my guess is, 
is he actually pushes that red button and lets the spaceman out that I was literally just talking about. So that's pretty cool. I guess that, you know, explains what I was just talking about. Now, obviously, you're probably thinking, wait, Batman, is, is that it? No, that applies to absolutely every single character. It might even apply to vehicles. I haven't seen it yet. I think I might have seen one video where the DeLorean was pretty huge, like it was a huge version of DeLorean, but I've only seen that once and I can't seem to find that video again. So it could have just been, you know, something that maybe it was a thumbnail and it made it look like the DeLorean was big. So I could be wrong there, but yes, every character can enlarge himself. Now, I think that's going to be really cool, especially Bane. You know, when Bane comes out, imagine going into the big figure form and then putting him on the toy pad and actually making him larger. I mean, imagine how huge Bane would be. Hopefully, we can do that in free roam as well, you know, in the adventure worlds. Just run around as these giant versions of these characters because that would just be so much fun. Now, there isn't really much to say here except for the fact, you know, we can see Shell from Portal 2 in this environment yet again. It's interesting, though, because these screenshots, you know, I was kind of expecting a little more variety from these screenshots. They are still cool, don't get me wrong. Even though I can't really explain a lot what is going on, I still love them. They still look really great, and I'm excited about the Midway content in LEGO Dimensions. I also think it's cool how Shell is here because Shell is a character from a more recent game and she is in an environment from a very old, um, you know, arcade game. So it's nice to see that kind of crossover. Now this is the final screenshot which shows off the midway content for the main story in LEGO Dimensions, but here we can see Shell yet again, but she's moved a bit. We can see there's a ramp here. Now the cool thing about the ramp is you can actually use that with any vehicle in the game, and they do appear in both missions and the adventure worlds. And one of the cool things I wanted to mention is in the Emerald City, there's actually a race you can go to, and you jump off this hill uh, from this ramp and you land in Munchkin Town and it's this huge jump like it's a really big jump and It's just so cool to watch and it looks like even when you're not in that race that ramp will still be there So if you want to go back up to that hill and jump that ramp as many times as you want You can do that which is really great to hear and of course, you know There'll be more ramps and everything in all the other adventure worlds It just it's crazy to think that there's 14 adventure worlds that is absolutely mind-blowing now another thing to mention here is of course we can see another pixelated alien and we can see that it's picked up a spaceman. Now my guess is that after looking through these screenshots again my guess is that what we have to do in this mission is we have to rescue all the spacemen and take out all the retro aliens. I think it's going to be especially awesome taking on the retro aliens as such a you know more new uh, video game character like Shell. I think that's going to be very interesting. Now moving away from the main story mission for the Midway Arcade, I can of course move on to what you actually get in the level pack and this is really exciting stuff. So first off here we have the Gamer Kid and he's sitting next to the Sentry Turret which comes with the Portal 2 level pack. But we've talked more about the Portal 2 content and pretty much everything else so I'll just leave that for now. But yeah, this is Gamer Kid in Aperture Labs. Now the thing is about this character is we currently don't know of any abilities he has. They haven't showed him in any gameplay or anything like that and there also hasn't being a trailer for Midway Arcade. You know, we did get the reveal with screenshots and we did get the pack was revealed and everything like that, but there was no trailer. So maybe the next trailer is going to be something else because, you know, we've seen the trailers. Uh, the last one we had was Scooby Doo and, you know, that was uh, Gladys from Portal 2. She actually delivers the box to uh, Scooby and Shaggy. So maybe after that they're going to deliver it to. Uh, Homer Simpson or something like that you know from the Simpsons and then that's going to show more of the Simpsons content and then maybe Homer is going to deliver it to Gamer Kid. Something like that I could see happening but you know we're very very close to launch for this game so my guess is we'll probably hear more about the Midway content after launch but you know we'll just have to wait and see. Next up here we can see Batman driving around in Metropolis in the G6155 Spy Hunter which is so cool, I absolutely love this vehicle and can't wait to drive it. Then of course we can also see Gandalf using the arcade machine. Now there's no word on what this actually does yet but it seems to be the gadget for the game. But what's interesting is in some of the screenshots that I'm going to show in a minute, it seems to be more to do with a vehicle. It seems to be that they can actually jump onto the arcade machine and actually move around with it and drive it. Which is weird because of course you know we know that level pack comes with a character, a vehicle, a gadget, a level and some of them also open up adventure worlds. Some of them that don't have you know like for example portal is the only way you can unlock the portal adventure world because there isn't a fun or team pack for that franchise. So maybe the arcade machine is kind of like the TARDIS where yes it acts as a vehicle but there's also more to it 
it than that. Like, for example, in the TARDIS, you can regenerate into all the different Doctors' incarnations, you can listen to music and all that good stuff. So maybe the arcade machine has some cool abilities that we just don't know about yet. Here we can see Jay and Zane watching Kai ride around on the arcade machine in Master Chen's arena. Now, again, you know, like I was saying, it looks to be a vehicle because the way Kai is actually using it, he seems to be driving around on it. But I still think there's more to it than that. But nonetheless, it looks like a really cool gadget. And it's just cool to have an arcade machine, you know, an arcade machine in the game. I'm very excited about all the different arcade games that we're going to be able to explore in the level pack. It's going to be a lot of fun. And last but not least here, of course, we can see Zane having a go of the arcade machine as well. And I'm pretty sure we'll hear more about this arcade machine in the Midway content after the launch of LEGO Dimensions. Because like I showed at the beginning of the video, there is so much coming out day one. You know, day one alone has so much content coming. It's crazy. So many level packs and team packs and a heck of a lot of fun packs. So after that, you know, after September mainly or around October or November, I think that is when we'll start hearing more about some of the packs that are going to come out in 2016. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. I mean, I think I've got you now all up to date on LEGO Dimensions. You know, I did the Scooby-Doo trailer analysis. I've done all the screenshots for the Worlds, the Simpsons content, the Midway content. I've talked about all the new release dates. I've talked about the Midway level pack. So I'm pretty sure that's everything up to date now. You know, up to the point, I think the last thing that they released was the Midway Arcade content, which I've been talking about in this video. So, yeah, that's pretty much everything up to date. And the cool thing is, LEGO Dimensions is so close to release date now. We are so close than ever for this game to finally come out, and I am so excited about it. You know, I, day one is going to be amazing. I can't wait to drive around Springfield as Homer in his car. I can't wait to fly around on Marty McFly's hoverboard in Hill Valley. I can't wait to take on Orcs as Batman with Wildstyle by my side. I mean... All these crazy combinations, it's going to be so much fun and I seriously cannot wait. Then of course in October we'll have even more stuff and in November, November is the Doctor Who level pack and honestly I'll probably never ever put down the controller when that comes out because that content is going to be amazing and I am just seriously cannot wait, I need it now. Alright guys, so I want to thank you very much for watching, stay tuned for lots more videos real soon and as always please remember to like, comment and subscribe.